New six, a record year for heat related deaths across Arizona. New data shows in 2020 the state reported 520 heat caused or heat related deaths and some are dying inside their homes. ABC 15 investigator Courtney Holmes talks with researchers discovering a trend and how they're working to reverse it. There are more than 87,000 mobile homes in Maricopa County. Many are not well insulated, and some of the owners tend to have lower incomes or are senior citizens. All are factors that researchers say make their homes more vulnerable to heat. In some homes, we registered as much as 105 indoors. Dangerous temperatures that Patricia Solis says some mobile homes are reaching during the hottest days in the valley. She's the executive director of the Knowledge Exchange for Resilience at Arizona State University and leads a group of researchers that found people who live in mobile homes are six to eight times more likely to have a heat related death than those who live inside of other housing. Across the county, about one third of all of the heat associated deaths occurred in trailers. They figured that out by mapping the locations of where homes received utility assistance payments and compared that to where indoor heat deaths occurred over a 10 year period. All of the yellow dots represent an instance of utility assistance. So all the yellow means they got help with their they, utilities. They got help with their utility bills. The red dots show where indoor heat related deaths happened. These big circles are a concentration of mobile home parks in Mesa. So Lise noticed a pattern. You know, there's this line of heat associated deaths, but no related assistance. One reason the researchers found mobile homes are excluded from getting federal dollars that pay the utility assistance program. We are trying to look into how could that eligibility be extended. Another is that many mobile home owners are on a site wide electric meter and the park is the utility customer, not the resident. People are dying. They're falling between the cracks of the assistance that we have because we just didn't see them. Now they do. We have a group of stakeholders that we've been working with to try to design some solutions. They've alerted cities, utilities, and park owners, who she says have been responsive with outreach about keeping cool with a broken or underutilized air conditioner. Temporary fixes, while researchers and students continue the work of eliminating indoor heat-related deaths completely. Those are the kinds of things we can prevent. We can do something about that. If we can pinpoint where they are and where they're most vulnerable. Courtney Holmes, ABC 15, Arizona.